Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video to explain why I chose the Biofar X2 and my thinking on it. I'm interested in your thoughts and feedback, so, or questions. If you have any, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. But this is the Far X2. I'll talk a bit about it in a minute, but I want to explain where I'm coming from. So this was the boat I was coming from. This is an Antrim 27. It's a really nice sport boat, very light displacement. Problem is, is she takes five or six to hold her down in a breeze. And with COVID um, and just finding people getting busier and busier and not being able to arrange everybody's schedules every time it's it's blowing out, I started to look for something that was a little more in line with double-handed or single-handed sailing. Problem is, I was spoiled. These are the polars for the Antrim. You can see here in 20 knots, she's doing 13. In 16 knots, she's doing 11. 20 knots, 10 VMG. So just good performance, upwind performance, good angles, you know, limited by her length, but still a, a fast and fun boat to sail. When I started looking for boats, um, I was kind of surprised at, uh, at how fast she is versus what's out there. This is a list I pulled down from the ORC database of boats that uh, you know were built since 2005 or so uh, and a certain length to them, uh, sorted by their time factor and some faster boats up top here. Um, you can see the Antrim here and I wanted a boat that's faster, so I'm pretty limited in my options. Um, the Class 40 may be suited for double-handed or single-handed, big step up for me. Figaro 3 as well, um, I'll talk more about that. Um, but other than that, it's pretty limited. So I got to thinking, hey, maybe there's something else out there. So I started to look at the new boats coming out and I built a huge uh, spreadsheet here. I took all those boats and I added others. Uh, I've got the new boats, the Daler, the, the Figaro, the Sunfast 3300 and others. Put all of the criteria or all of the different parameters in here. I'm a mechanical engineer and so I'm a data junkie and just built up this big spreadsheet of comparisons to compare all these boats. Um, I then started to narrow it down and say, you know what, I probably am looking for a new boat. So I went to um, the new boats and specifically the X2, the Daler 30, the Figaro 3. You'll see here I have it in foils and I have replaced the foils with water ballast in this analysis just because I think they probably do a similar job, perhaps a little different, but similar characteristics in terms of writing moment, etc. Uh, the Sunfast 3300, the J99, the JPK 1030. And you know, again, so all the, the key parameters are built out in this spreadsheet. And I started to see some interesting trends here. This is a upwind power to weight versus stability chart. So power to weight is on the, the axis here, stability on this axis. Um, you'll see this is the, the Figaro with foils, uh, comes in with very low stability, but obviously the foils provide stability. So I adjusted that and gave her water ballasts and brings her up to here. So pretty high power and kind of medium stability. You see down here the JPK and the Sun or the J99, um, very stable, but could be suffering on the power. So that was an interesting chart. Here's the downwind power to weight versus stability. So again, the Figaro I think should be bumped closer to here. So again, the far and the Figaro, quite a lot of power, medium stability. Again, the same boats here might be a little overstable for the power to weight. Uh, the Daler here uh, might be a bit unstable. Um, but not quite as much power. Then we start to look here to 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 see maybe the reasons why here. So the the chart the bar here is uh, displacement, and the various dots here are the sail areas. And so this is the main and the jib, and then uh, the asymmetrical spinnaker up here. And so you can see here the Far X2 by far the lightest boat. The ones that I said were maybe a bit underpowered. You can see the weight of those boats, and they don't really have any big they don't have bigger sails. They really don't. Here's the Figaro 3. So again, pretty big sales, but again, a bit more weight as well. So that's all very interesting. So how does that translate to speed? That's where I was really interested. And so I went here again and, and grabbed all these boats and uh, got a bunch of data. And all this data is available online. They all have Olympic bid uh, packages out there, uh, except I think for the X2, but you can find their polars online and their speed targets. And that's what I've taken in here. Upwind, downwind, at 90 degree, uh, true wind angle, total averages, etc. Done a bunch of calculations here. But the charts are what I find interesting. So here's upwind VMG and uh, in, in various wind conditions ranging from, you know, I think six up to 20. And you can see um, 
This was my problem with the Figaro. This is the Figaro, pretty sticky and light air, that's for sure. And as she gets up to here, 20 plus, she starts to come into her own, but in the light air, pretty sticky. The one with the, the blue kind of diamonds here is the, the X2, which is the fastest boat upwind until we get up to about 20 knots where the uh, the Sunfast 3300 gets her by a little bit. Downwind, again, this is negative VMG, so down the lower the, the line, the better. So the X2, the fastest. You can see again, the Figaro, pretty sticky in light air, but starts to come into her own down here in the bigger wind. Then at 90 degrees, again, similar. Um, the X2 is the fastest by a long shot over a lot of these boats. The Figaro gets to be quicker here, and I think probably continues this way, but it really is built as a reaching boat. Um, then average, now this is converted to seconds per mile. So again, lower the better. And you can see on average, all those conditions combined, the X2 is the fastest in the six to 20 knot wind range. So um, this was the real reason I chose the boat. Uh, I didn't choose it for ratings. I didn't choose it for looks. I mean, I do think she is a, a pretty good looking boat. Here's another picture of her. And uh, I'm looking forward to delivery of this boat sometime in the fall. I did want to show you the polars here because they are really exciting. And I do appreciate the polars are estimates and that the real test is on the water. But if your estimates aren't very good, your test on the water is probably not going to be very good either. So they're here at uh, you know 20 knots, 14 uh, VMG of 12, negative 12 knots. So really looking forward to, to seeing this boat on the water and uh, to all of the different aspects of her. So any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to reply. And I hope this was informative for you.